Every time you and I face any circumstance in life, difficulty or good times in life, what is it that anchors us? What is it that keeps us steady and steadfast? What is it that gives us security and certainty and assurance and boldness and confidence? One thing, and that's a person. That is because of our personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And you see, what makes us so sure is this. He's the same he was in eternity past. He is the same today, and he's going to be the same tomorrow. You know why I don't have to worry about tomorrow? Why don't I have to be concerned about tomorrow and all the things that change and things that could happen, may happen? You know why I don't have to worry about that? All I have to do is look back and see what he was and what he did and, and, and what he said and think about what he's doing, what he's saying, and who he is today. And you know what I don't have to worry about? Because I know that whatever the need is, whatever the situation, circumstance, he's going to act, he's going to act exactly the way he's been acting all the time. Doing what? Loving us, providing for us, protecting us, caring for us, upholding us, encouraging us, healing us, on and on and on and on we could go of what he's going to do because what he has done, what he is doing, and what he's promised to do. Why? Because of who he was, who he is, and what he will be, always the same. Now, what do you have? As an unbeliever, what do you have? You don't have an anchor. You don't have anything that can keep you steady and steadfast when all hell breaks through in your life. And you only have a few weeks or a few days to live. Or you've lost all your finances, lost your friends, all kinds of calamities hit your life. What do you have? You don't have anything. But all of us who know the Lord Jesus Christ, we have the Son of God to anchor us, to care for us, Listen, to join hand in hand with us and walk through the deepest, darkest, most painful valleys in life and come out on the other side saying, Wow, what a Savior, what a Lord, what a Master. As I look back and see what He's brought me through, what a God He is. With the precious blood as of a lamb, unblemished and spotless, the blood of Christ. What is the message of the resurrection? The message of the resurrection is that our sins have been forgiven. The message of the resurrection is that you and I are eternally secure in Him. He appeared in the presence of Almighty God as the Lamb slain before the foundation of the world, appearing before God as the final ultimate sacrifice for the sin of mankind. And the fact that Jesus Christ rose from the dead is evidence that God the Father accepted His death as payment for our sin so that the reason you and I know that our sins are forgiven, having confessed them before Him, having trusted Him to forgive us on the basis of His death at Calvary, is the fact, what did He do? He entered into the presence of Almighty God as the Lamb slain before the foundation of the world, accepted by the Father. We have an intimate relationship once we trust Christ as our Savior. You and I know day by day, those of us who trust that Christ as our Savior, our Lord, the living Christ, not only do we believe it because the Bible says it, we believe it because there is evidence in our life. He was the sinless Son of God who came into this world for the primary purpose of dying for our sin. The resurrection says the Father approved of His atoning death and the Father approved of, what, of, of the awesome act of a sacrificial death and atoning death for our sins, raised Him from the dead, and in the presence of the Father, now seated at the Father's right hand, making an intercession for us, our advocate preparing heaven for us, we have the absolute unquestionable assurance our sins have been forgiven, the sacrifice is accepted.